Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lawrence product expert. And what we're gonna do today is show you how to properly install the total scan transducer on the back of your boat. But not only are we gonna show you how to install it, we're gonna show you what it looks like underwater when it's not installed properly. So when you have a lot of turbulence flowing over the transducer, that's what causes you to lose bottom. We're gonna show you what it looks like. We got a camera ready to put under the water. That way you can see it. And then we're gonna move it back to the proper position. We're gonna show you how the water flows over it at that point. That way you can run at speed without losing bottom. In the, as you can see when we were running, how we were losing bottom when we were getting up to speed, that's because there was a lot of turbulence coming over this transducer. If you look, it's sitting below the bottom of the boat and that causes a lot of turbulence when the water hits it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move this transducer up. We're gonna set it up a little bit higher. We're basically gonna line it up where the bottom of the transducer is almost level with the bottom of the boat. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give us a lot cleaner water to go over the face of this transducer while we're running and we shouldn't be losing bottom at speed. And now, as you can see, we've moved this transducer up. We've got it pretty much level with the bottom of the boat. And what this is gonna allow is it's gonna allow a lot cleaner water to flow over that transducer. We're gonna have less interference and turbulence. Therefore, we're gonna be able to track bottom at speed. 